Let's talk about Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. If you've been following the news around the stock market, you've probably heard the stock make some major moves in the past few weeks. In this video, I'm going to be covering what exactly the company is, why it was up 28% today, and if I will be personally investing, and if I think you should do the same. Now guys, if you're new to this channel, I really recommend you subscribe as I'm going to be posting a lot of content about stocks, real estate, investing, all sorts of that nature. Also, I do want to say down below, there's a free Discord channel for you to join. Talk with a bunch of my subscribers and just talk about stocks and just make money together. It's an awesome community and I really recommend you join as well. And yeah, like I said, make sure you subscribe guys. I'm on a mission to get to 5,000 subscribers and it would mean a lot if you could subscribe, smash the like button and even leave a comment about what these stocks are looking like for you. Now let's get right into SNDL. Also, I did make a video about Tilray earlier today, so check that out, because this is another marijuana and weed stock. And SNDL, ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Growers, did actually close today at $1.64. One thing to note is literally on the 26th of January, this stock was trading at 56 cents. So we're already seeing insane gains, and although this is a very small company, I really do see a lot of potential in this, especially due to the fact that there's a lot of recent news and a lot of hype around the stock as it being, you know, in its baby stages and its, in its infancy stages, I should say. The reason I'm very interested in this stock and as well as other marijuana stocks in general is the fact that legalization is becoming more normalized throughout the whole world. I live in Toronto and in Canada, we recently legalized, or I believe was it was in Ontario, one of the two, but regardless, I know the, for a fact in the States, with the new president Biden coming into play, he is looking to decriminalize marijuana and really make it more uh, accessible and legalized. Another thing is SNDL is also one of those stocks that aren't really involved in a short squeeze, but is very hyped up by retail investors. You know, a lot of people in the Reddit communities and just retail investors in general, we love low cost stocks that could have a high potential. And this is one of those stocks that, like I said, has been very popularized. Even on apps like Robinhood, it has been one of the most traded stocks ever. I'm not sorry, not ever, but it has been one of the most traded stocks on certain days. Sundial is actually focused on premium cannabis products that include flour, pre-rolls, vape, and oil. And in the fourth quarter of last year, they actually collaborated with a company called Chocolate. Well, I guess Chocolat, I don't know how you pronounce it, C-H-O-K-L-A-T. And they actually launched cannabis-infused chocolate bars, drinking chocolate and infused sugar. I mean, that just sounds like very like tasty. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds very interesting and, you know, industry moving as well. Sundial is also planning to enter medical cannabis and the company has 50% equity interest in a company called Pathway RX. And like I said, although this is a very small company, who knows, we may even potentially see a company like Sundial one day merge with companies like Tilray. Like I said, there is a Tilray and Afria merger coming up later on this year and Maybe, you know, one day SNDL, Sundial Growers, gets involved in that as well. I don't know, but like I said, I find that this space with, you know, the marijuana and the cannabis industry is just one of those things where it's like we all understand the industry will continue to grow. It's just finding those one or two good companies that we can really invest in and that has long-term potential. Also, on February 2nd, the company actually closed a new registered offering worth approximately $100 million. Pretty much that means they have a bulk of cash that they can pretty much use to play around with it in their business. I also want to see if this company does expand into the US market. Like I said, this company is very small and they do operate out of Canada. In my opinion guys, out of you know the majority of the weed stock, I would say this is a more risky play, but I do want to say the hype around this company has been insane and I would not be surprised if this company continues to just rally up and up and up. Maybe we'll see a bit of a correction, but until there is you know really an indication of this company being, you know, one of the big dogs in the industry. I personally think I might, you know, just throw a tiny bit of money into it just for the sake of, you know, being exposed to the stock and to the potential gains. But I do know that, you know, a lot of people do really believe in this company and a lot of people are waiting for three things. One, more legalization, two, a potential merger and three, expansion into the US. Like I said, earlier on today, I uploaded a video on Tilray and I talked about how that company is already in the US and they're planning on, or they're already also in the Europe, into Europe. And for me, that's interesting because like I said, I want to invest into the industry leader and the company that will continue to grow and grow and grow. Like I said, with Sundial, it does seem interesting because they do have those chocolate bars and who knows what else they can make. Like I said, cannabis as well is one of those things that there's always room for improvement and innovation as there's so much research being done. Who knows, maybe in the future we'll have like water that is infused with cannabis or something. I don't know. That probably might even already be a thing. I don't know. 
But like I said, guys, that is my opinion on Sunbelt Growers. Remember, guys, with all the stock videos that I make, this is pretty much for entertainment purposes and educational purposes. None of this is investment advice. And do remember that there are probably certain things that I might have missed out or maybe even said incorrectly. I strongly recommend everyone do your own due diligence. Go onto the investor resources pages for these companies. Check the SEC filings. Check their summary. Check their financials. And make sure you are, you know, doing your own due diligence. With that being said, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. And like I said, I'm on a mission to get to 5,000 subscribers. So if you can, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, stay seeking success.